Hi everyone, so my presentation is on Epic Games, which is a game developer. So the history behind it is the founder is Tim Sweeney. The year it was founded was 1991. And here's a little bit of the history overview. So Tim Sweeney says there's four eras of it, which one of them is Epic 1.0 and is from the year 1991 to 1997. And in this year, he formed the Potomac Computer System and released its first ever game called ZZT, which that was just like a puzzle video game type of game. Next was the Epic 2.0 era, which was from 1998 to 2005. The employees grew from 15 to 25. Um, and then the video game Unreal was released, which was a first person shooter game. And during this era, it was still more PC games. And then going to Epic 3.0, from the year 2006 to 2011. Um, this is the era when it shifts from PC to Xbox. And um, the games included Gears of War, Infinity Blade, Bulletstorm, and this is when Fortnite was announced, but it was yet to be released yet. And then next was Epic 4.0. So this was from 2012 to present time. And Tencent buys 40% of Epic Games during this time for $330 million. And this was the era when Fortnite was released, which I feel like most people know Epic Games mainly because of Fortnite. Now a little bit about the background. Um, to the right, you can see that's the logo for Epic Games. The headquarter location is in, in Cary, North Carolina. The CEO is still Tim Sweeney. And their mission statement is to create fun games we want to play and build the art and tools we need to bring those games to life. And the highest revenue video game is Fortnite, which Fortnite generated $4.4 billion in the year 2022, which was about 80 pot. 85% of Epic Games revenue, which that was a lot. Now the current news and trends of Epic Games is um, it is partnering with Walt Disney Company, so they'll create new games involving Disney, and um, Disney invested 1.5 billion to acquire equity stake in Epic Games, which was huge for them. Alright, next about the unique aspects, the technological innovations. Uh, one is being their new Unreal Engine 5. So what that is, it's just a batch of new and upgraded features, designs, more realistic 3D options, audio effects, and more. Um, which a lot of games would like to have. So that's a cool innovation for them. And next is um, controversial games which is Fortnite because it is an addictive gameplay, which could be a problem. And any games in eSports has Fortnite, they have Fortnite Leagues, they also have the Rocket League, and the game genre is known for Epic Games is first person shooter games. Okay, so the conclusion, what I learned, um, Epic Games has been around for a while. I don't know why, but I just kind of assumed because I knew about Epic Games once Fortnite came out, so I just assumed it wasn't around for a while, but it's been around since 1991, which I think is pretty cool. And they have released a bunch of games. Um, what was the most interesting is how much revenue Fortnite brought to Epic Games. I thought this was interesting because Fortnite's basically free unless you buy like all the features in the game, but... I thought that was crazy because it produced a lot of revenue. Um, why do I think it's so successful? Mainly because it's innovative games like Fortnite, um, which involves a lot of different um, groups of people, which I think is good. And it's just, it's a type of game that 
anyone could really play if they wanted to. Um, same thing, cross-platform play, so it's like, you can play, if you have PlayStation, you can play with Xbox people, etc., which I think is great. And another thing is the games are free, so even though you can buy stuff within the games, but to download the game, it's free, which I think is really great. And these are just my references.